I'm just putting on some, uh, some gloves before I pick up a bottle of the most toxic substance in this laboratory, which is mercuric oxide, which is really nasty stuff. And I don't want to eat any of it or get it, get it on my skin, even though it's in a sealed bottle. You can never be too careful. Well, what we do in our lab is um, laboratory studies of atmospheric chemistry. So we're basically simulating what happens in the Earth's atmosphere, in the air, um, in our laboratory, with a view to finding out what changes the composition of our air, which has environmental effects. Here it is. It's kind of packed in. I'm going to make a mess. I'm sorry about this, Valeria. You got any scissors? That's just the packing to stop it breaking in transit and killing the postman. And here's the stuff. There you go. Quecksilver oxide. That's German. Mercury oxide yellow. Okay. And it's dangerous for the environment and it's very toxic. You need a, a variety of skills to be able to carry out this work. You need to be able to arrange gas flows. You need to be able to understand optics. You need to be able to use computers. So it's not just pure chemical reactions. It's, it's a whole variety of skills that you have to bring to bear. So it's, it's varied and it's tough and it's intellectually challenging, which is why you do it. Um, so we use it because we want to make free radicals, which... Um, are present in the polar stratosphere at, uh, in their springtime, which cause ozone depletion. So what we do is we want to cheat, basically, because we could just take some CFCs and break them apart the way the sun breaks them apart and release chlorine atoms, um, which would then react with ozone, making these CLO-free radicals, but we do it a different way. We take chlorine, um, chlorine gas diluted in, uh, in nitrogen, and if you flow chlorine gas over this mercuric oxide, um, it produces a gas called um, dichlorine monoxide, which is Cl2O, is its chemical formula. And uh, dichlorine monoxide's great stuff. It's explosive, it's toxic, um, and we make it in the laboratory. Um, and then what you do with most explosive toxic gases, as you do in the lab, you, we fire a laser at it. Um, and that breaks it up into these CLO free radicals. And these CLO free radicals are the ones which um, react with each other and cause ozone depletion. Okay? I'm lecturing, aren't I? <laughs> Chemistry is a really fun discipline. You know, it's so varied, there's so much stuff to do, there's practical work as well as the theoretical aspect. And it impacts so many different areas of our life, from materials chemistry for things in your iPhone or whatever, up to what we do, which is environmental chemistry, which is understanding what is changing uh, the composition of our air that we breathe. And that's obviously important for preserving us and other species into the future.